Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with Practical Painting, and I'm about to explain how paint sheens work in under five minutes. Ready to go? What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. Firstly, the terms finish and sheen can be used interchangeably. They both refer to the same thing, which is the level of shine in a particular paint. So these six terms here that are on the yellow tape are all sheens, they are all also finishes. And I picked the six most common ones, whether you're using paint from Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, Lowe's, or Home Depot. In general, the shinier the paint, the more durable it is, which is why I have this chart laid out the way that I do. At the top end of the spectrum, you have gloss or high gloss. So it's super, super shiny. It's also super, super durable. At the other end of the spectrum, you have flat paint, which has no sheen to it, and uh, subsequently is not very durable. Now you might ask why you would use a flat paint because it's not very durable. However, the less sheen you have in a paint, the more it hides imperfections in whatever surfaces you're coating. So most of the time in a residential application, flat paint will go on a ceiling. So a family room ceiling, a bedroom ceiling, kitchen ceiling, any of those places, because a lot of times the finish quality in a ceiling is not very good. Also, aesthetically, a flat paint looks really nice. It, it absorbs light, it doesn't bounce light off. So it has a very, uh, what we call like a soft finish. And it's the look that most people are going for uh, inside of their homes, particularly on their ceilings. Uh, moving on to matte paint. Matte paint is my preferred paint to put on walls. Uh, it's, a, it's obviously shinier than flat, um, but it's not so shiny that it's gonna highlight all the imperfections in the walls. So you can kinda, you can get away with the walls not being completely perfect. And uh, it also hides what we call like lap marks. So you don't necessarily see the overlapping roller marks uh, or the, the roller marks feeding into the brush lines. Uh, so again, that's super common on the walls. Next up is eggshell, which is obviously slightly shinier than matte. I would say the battle for the most common finish on a wall is between eggshell and matte. And some people really like eggshell and some people really like matte. And keep in mind, these are not universal terms. So like a, a matte paint from Sherwin-Williams might be equivalent in, in sheen to a Benjamin Moore level paint of eggshell. So just to throw that out there, not to muddy the waters here. All right, moving up to satin. I only included satin because you're going to see it a lot. Uh, I almost never use satin on anything. In my personal opinion, it's generally too shiny for walls and not shiny enough for trim. I do use satin polyurethane, but that is a completely different application than what we're talking about. Uh, moving on to semi-gloss. Semi-gloss is the most common sheen that you're going to see on trim. I would say in our residential clients, it's the number one preferred finish people like on their doors, on their... Uh, and when I say trim, I mean window casings, door frames, baseboards, chair rail molding, crown molding, any of the woodwork. And the reason you use a semi-gloss on trim is because a lot of times trim is in a high traffic area. So you have doors get touched a lot, like baseboards get touched a lot, and sort of like chair rail and all that stuff. Because they get touched so much and they're considered like high touch services, if you put a semi-gloss on them, then they hold up really well. You can wipe them down better. Uh, again, I never really advise people to scrub paint, but uh, you can, you know, use a little soap and water and get a lot of stuff off of things that are painted with a semi-gloss. Gloss is, uh, that also can be like a personal preference. A gloss or high gloss paint is even shinier than a semi-gloss. Some people really like that. Not too many brands offer a high gloss paint for interior, but it's really common for exterior, particularly if you're painting something like a fire hydrant, you really want it to be noticeable and hold up in the weather. Then they use like an industrial high gloss paint. Uh, that is pretty common. One other caveat I wanted to mention before I wrap things up is that if you're going to paint a bathroom that has a water element in it, like a uh, shower or a bathtub, anything that generates a lot of steam, you don't want to use a flat paint on the ceiling. It's not going to hold up well. You're going to have all kinds of problems. Uh, so back in the day, they used to use semi-gloss paint on the ceilings, which looks terrible. But nowadays, because of science and so forth, there is specialty formulated paint to go on your bathroom ceiling. Uh, so from Benjamin Moore, they have their bath and spa paint works really well and what we use is from Sherwin Williams it's the duration mat and that has moisture and mold block in it works really well on those ceilings and it holds up much much longer than a flat paint would so I just don't want to steer anybody wrong in their paint choice procedure so okay anyway just a quick review 
semi-gloss goes on trim, doors, all that good stuff. It's a battle between matte and eggshell on the walls for interior, and then flat almost always goes on the ceiling, unless it's a bathroom with a water element. Good deal. All right, I think I nailed it. In that line of things, if y'all have any questions or concerns about anything I went over in this video or a separate paint question, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'd be very happy to answer any of your questions. And if a lot of people ask the same type of thing, then I'll make a video about it. It's why this channel exists. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good YouTube type stuff. That would help us out tremendously. And until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. Y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Goodbye. Well, I've seen the fruits of a labor. What I have, I built with my own hands. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Amazing.